All right, our last guest for this broadcast is Dr. Rahil Chaudhary. Dr. Chaudhary is one of India's most well-known ophthalmologists and he's also director of the I-7 hospitals. He is a pioneer in laser specs removal surgeries and also one of the fastest to perform them. He holds a record for the maximum number of laser specs removal surgeries done in India. Listen in. He's making eye care easy for all. The youngsters are taking advantage of this lockdown and they're planning this next to research. An Indian creating better vision for three decades. Telemedicine has uh, helped those people from far off places in uh, the rural part of India. Newsx A-List proudly recognizes Dr. Rahul Chaudhary for excellence in vision care. Hello and welcome. My name is Devika Chopra and joining me on the Newsx A-List series is Dr. Rahul Chaudhary, who is an eye surgeon and director of the I-7 hospitals in New Delhi. Now, Dr. Chaudhary holds the record for the maximum laser specs removal surgeries across India. Firstly, welcome to Newsx, sir, and thank you so much for speaking to us. I have to begin by asking you, tell us why exactly did you decide uh, to become an eye surgeon and where exactly did you do your uh, you know, finish your education from? Well, so I, uh, first of all, thank you very much for inviting me to your show. And uh, I belong to a family of doctors. I've seen doctors around me from childhood. My Both of my parents are doctors. My father is also an eye surgeon. And even my grandparents, my uh, mama and chacha, all of them are doctors. So I've grown in a doctor's family. And that is where you develop a passion for the field. You see them working every day. So I think that was the reason why I chose to become an eye surgeon, trying to follow my father's footsteps. And uh, so I completed my schooling from Delhi Public School, Arkipuram. And uh, mm -hmm. then I went to Dehradun to complete my undergrad, MBBS. And then to Merit to complete my postgrad in MS Ophthalmology. And uh, then I did my fellowship in uh, Super Speciality, Cataract and Refractive Surgery. And then some training from Harvard. So it's been a long journey of 15 years till you get the license to actually operate on human eyes. So, but I'm very happy that I could uh, fulfill this journey and uh, fulfill my dreams of that. So Dr. Chaudhary, like you said, it's been a very long journey for you. And you know, in that journey now, you hold the record for maximum sex removal surgeries across India. So if you can just tell us a little bit more about that and uh, who would be, you know, the person who should be getting such a surgery? So basically, as a doctor, you don't plan to make such records. It's mm -hmm. just been a matter of chance that uh, we were the first to introduce laser specs removal in India. And they recently introduced a new technology by the name of Contura Vision. I think right. that is the reason uh, which had created a lot of buzz. And we had patients coming over all from all the parts of India and also around the world to take advantage of this new technology. So basically, specs removal procedures are getting very popular these days. And uh, they've been there for the last 25 years. But these days, there are three technologies which are more popular. First is by the name of Bladeless LASIK, which is about 10 years old now. Second is something called as Smile, which is about 7 years old now. And the latest one today is Contura Vision, which is about 3 years old. So Contura Vision is the one which has created a lot of hype, a lot of buzz because uh, it gives you a special advantage that after this surgery, you can get something called a supervision. That you can see something beyond what a normal person can see. You can see more than what a normal person can see. So that has created a buzz and uh, this technology is a very expensive technology. So currently it is housed only in select few institutions in India. There are about five, six institutions where this technology is available. And uh, I think that is the reason where people are coming all over India, taking advantage. And that is how we could accomplish this achievement in life of making a record. Wow, and that sounds very interesting, you know, this new technology that you're talking about. But at the same time, you know, a lot, uh, Dr. Rahil has been, you know, recently, recent times have been a lot about adjusting, uh, given the sort of crisis uh, because of Corona, what we're dealing with. So how is it that you have been dealing with COVID and how are you now managing the flow of patients? Well, COVID has impacted all of us. I think nobody is spared from COVID. And uh, ophthalmology, that is the field of eye, being an elective field. So we usually don't have many emergency procedures. 
and mm-hmm. it is usually dealing with the people who are beyond 60 years above 60 years so the, it's an old age uh, problems field so we are mostly dealing with old people coming in for cataract surgeries glaucoma surgeries and old people now are very scared to move out and these procedures being elective not emergency so they are avoiding it for the time being till the situation stabilizes a bit but on the contrary surprisingly i see a lot of youngsters now coming in for their laser specs removal which mm-hmm. otherwise they could never get time to you know take out from their busy schedules and they always occupied in their work now during the lockdown during work from home they are actually getting time to undergo these procedures and take advantage of that so uh, it's been two sides of a coin so so on the one side we have the old people going down and on the other side the youngsters are taking advantage of this lockdown and they're planning this specs to move surgery all right so somewhere or the other you've been able to uh, you know balance out as far as the business front is concerned but i also have to ask you sir now the government has eased telemedicine laws considerably how has this helped during corona so telemedicine uh, i think people are adapting to it and they're adapting very fast to it so they've realized that this is the this is going to be the new normal now and uh, this is the way to because hospitals are closed and most of the hospitals are now dedicated themselves to covid patients but uh, the problems don't leave you so telemedicine mm-hmm. especially easing the laws has uh, encouraged patients and doctors to actually take a first opinion that is it actually necessary to come over to the hospital and get it checked so people uh, now are preferring to take a first opinion on phone at least discuss with a doctor that if that problem can be solved online at home and if it is very necessary only then visit the hospital especially during time of crisis also telemedicine has uh, helped those people from far off places in uh, the rural part of india where uh, people could not actually get a professional opinion get a super specialist opinion they are taking advantage of this facility that now they can directly talk to a super specialist they can discuss their problems and then they plan their whole trip coming down to a city and getting it operated so okay. it is not just for covid i think telemedicine is here to stay and it is going to be really big in the coming times so dr rahil before we wrap up uh, this uh, brilliant conversation we've had with you i have to ask you sir uh, you know what next are you expecting in your field and you know what are your plans for the future let's say in the next 10 years but you see uh, the problem with indian medical system is that it is a- at par with the world in the cities but as you keep going away from the cities as you keep going to the rural side of india the facilities really diminish so i think that is the need of the r because lot of people uh, in the rural parts are not able to take good treatment and you see india if we talk about i doctors there are only 20000 i doctors in india and the need is about 2 lakh so you see you can understand the magnitude of problem we have here and especially the lack of skilled doctors skilled staff and the technology across the length and breadth of the country this is the problem so i think maybe growing and going to places where people can take advantage of facilities and uh, can get themselves the cure for such small problems which can actually make them blind at times so there are a lot of problems which can have blinding complications and they are treatable they are treatable with just a small surgery something like cataract it just takes a 10 minute right. surgery to get your vision back but even those basic facilities are not not available in many parts of the india so i think that would be the next step in healthcare to actually connect and uh, get these people take advantage and you know to to get out of these problems which which are simple and get can be cured very easily Well, absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast. I was Dr. Rahul Chaudhary, who is an eye surgeon and director of I Seven Hospitals, which we see all across the national capital. And we wish you all the very best, sir. My pleasure. Thank you. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.